Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My first task is to congratulate this great place for this great thing that they have done today. This place, Texas, has made history today for two reasons. The first and most important reason is that they've given over their entire restaurant for the entire day for the relief of the suffering people in Gaza, who over the last few weeks have suffered relentless bombardment from the world's most powerful airplanes, rockets, missiles. They talk about Palestinian rockets, which are, which are, which are Guy Fox night rockets compared to the high powered weaponry that has been raining down upon them. And Dixies didn't just talk the talk, they walked the walk. They put their money where their mouth was and the people of Batley have responded. I've been here over the last few hours several times and the stream of people going in uh, has been extremely impressive and I hope it continues for the rest of the night. So that's history number one. History number two is this. I am announcing from this step outside Dixie Express, I will be a candidate in the Batley and Spen by-election on the 1st of July. Yay. I will be standing to give the people the opportunity of change. The political class here has taken the voters that I see around me entirely for granted. They assume that you're a vote bank, that you'll vote for them whatever they do or more often whatever they do not do. They know the things that matter to you but they don't care. For example, during Gaza, you were crying. They were supporting Israel in the bombardment. The leader of the Labour Party, against whom I'm standing here, doesn't matter who else is on the ballot paper, I'm standing against Keir Starmer. Why? Because Keir Starmer has made it clear, let's be fair, he's been honest. He said, I am a Zionist without equivocation. The meaning of equivocation is unconditional. He unconditionally supports Israel. Well, I unconditionally support the Palestinians. And I have been doing so for 50 years. Not yesterday or last week, but for 50 years. Years. I unconditionally, without equivocation, support the right of the Palestinian people to be free. And I think there are thousands of people in Batley and Spen who agree with me on that. The Labour Party knows that too, but they think you're going to vote for them anyway. They think you're going to vote for them even though they're supporting the killing of people whose fate means everything to you. I was at the Medina Mosque last Juma and people were crying, grown men were crying about what was happening uh, to the people in Gaza. Uh, but they weren't crying in the Labour Party headquarters. Uh, they were, without equivocation, supporting Israel. Now, of course, I'm not here only to speak about Palestine, though that is extremely important and that's the subject of today. But over the next few days, I'll be rolling out my program to get things sorted here, to be a voice for the people here. Let, let me just give you one example. The bed industry is big here. You all know that. Some of you work in it. Thousands of people work in it. But nothing has been done to help the bed factories here in this constituency and in Dewsbury next door. Why? Why, why, have, why are some people able to access 
millions in government support and prior to that European Union support but not the people in the bed factories here that give employment to thousands of people. I know we're the bed capital of Britain but that doesn't mean the politicians have got to be asleep on the job but they have been asleep on the job and I'm here to waken them up. Trust me the announcement I've just made to you will right now be disturbing Keir Starmer and the top leaders of the Labour Party. What do you think about Kim Ledbetter? I'm not standing against Kim Ledbetter. I'm standing against Keir Starmer's Labour Party. We need to get rid We need to get rid of Keir Starmer and I'll make a prediction to you, ma'am. If I win here on the 1st of July, Keir Starmer will be out before the summer holidays. He'll be overthrown by his own MPs. He'll be overthrown because they know that he's a block of wood that isn't leading them anywhere. So trust me on that. If I win on July the 1st, Keir Starmer will be able to relax on his summer holidays as the ex-leader of the Labour Party. That's why I'm standing here. Thank you very much for being an audience. Why they kicked out Jeremy Corbyn as the leader? What's wrong well, with him? You're too honest. Let, let, let's be blunt about this. All the people that stood up for the Palestinians in the Labour Party have all been expelled. Think about it. Starting with me, yes. Starting with me for my opposition to the Iraq War. Then Ken Livingston. Then Chris Williamson. And now Jeremy Corbyn himself. Just over a year ago he was the leader of the Labour Party. Now he's out of the Labour Party. What kind of Labour Party is that? So Corbyn's supporters want rid of Keir Starmer, but so did Tony Blair's supporters want rid of Keir Starmer. That's how I know he'll be out. He'll be caught between the two different blocks in the Labour Party that both know he's a loser. He's a loser, but he's a loser that unequivocally supports what happened in Gaza uh, just a week or two ago. One more question. Yes. Why did the race between uh, Tory Maurice Johnson and the Keir Starmer to support his right? Why do they always uh, support them unconditionally? Well, they do so for a whole number of complex reasons. But the most important one is this. They think that you are going to vote for them anyway. Exactly. They think you're going to vote for them whatever they say or do in relation to Israel. That much is obvious. They think you've got no, nowhere else to go. And they do around here. They always vote Labour. Well, they now have somewhere else to go. Me. Yes. And listen, if I'm elected here, I'll be here only once. That's two and a half years. If other people are in, they'll be here for 30 years. So the people that were kept off the shortlist last weekend will never get another chance unless I win on the 1st of July. Just think about that. You're just staying for one term. One term. I'm, Mom, I've got six young children and I'm 66 years old. <laughs> but I will fight for you with every breath that God gives me over that three years. And you'll know the difference and everybody else will know the difference. Ask yourself this. If I'm elected here in Batley and Spen on the 1st of July, They'll be cheering in India, in Pakistan, in Palestine, in Iraq. They'll be cheering all around the world. You have the chance to make history. You have the chance to make history in Batley and Spen. You can be the people that got rid of Keir Starmer. That will be in the history books forever, long after I'm gone. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.